You know, interviews in academia might be a little bit different from what you would see outside academia. For me, I've had the opportunity to be part of two interviews, one before grad school and the other one just as I was graduating, and I aced both of them. So I can tell you one or two things about how to conduct yourself and um, what to expect when you are um, in an interview with a professor. So if you are actively preparing for an interview or you think you would be in this boat in the near future, stay with me. If you are still here, it means you are very interested in this topic. So welcome to this video. I am Dr. Babajide Ojo. And what I'll try to do in this video is to summarize what you should expect when you are in an interview with a professor as you are about to start your master's or PhD. And um, you know this process is very important if you are looking for funding. Uh, you have to interview most of the time with a professor to see if you are a good fit for that particular research group. And um, in some cases, applicants will have to interview with a group of professors in an admission committee. So whichever the case uh, may be for you, uh, this video will be very, very, very important. Now, I must mention that I can't cover everything in one video. So this will be a series of short videos where I would completely explain some of the important aspects, for example, research and every other thing. But this is just going to be a summary in case you don't want a very long video. Now, the first thing you should um, do when you are preparing for your interview is to make sure you are determined to dress up for the interview. I know most of the time this interview will be um, virtual um, via Zoom or Skype. Now, um, most of the time or some of the time, some people might take that for granted and just appear in regular clothing. Um, while some professors, most professors probably don't care, but you know, it's an interview. I, I'll just advise that you take them seriously because you don't know um, which professor would you know, feel insulted if you just appear casually to the interview. So dress up in your suit, uh, your tie, your professional attire, in any professional attire that suits the occasion. So prepare to dress up. Now, of course, one of the things you should expect is, you know, the classic tell me about yourself uh, question in interviews. Um, I'll, I'm going to talk about this particular question, break it down in another video. Um, the basic things that you should try to hit when you are introducing yourself to a professor. And that will probably lead to many other discussions uh, during the interview. So look out for another video that would explain how to answer the question, tell me about yourself or how to introduce yourself to a professor during an interview. Now, another thing I must mention which is one of the most important things you should note is that this is going to be more of a conversation than an interview. Okay. Um, you know, sometimes they might want to, in, in very few cases, they might want to test your knowledge on some certain things, but in most cases, in most cases I have um, found either personally or uh, through other mentees or friends, this is going to mostly be a conversation because at the end of the day, you both are just, you know, trying to get to know each other. Uh, the professor is trying to see if you are a good fit for his research group or if you are interviewing with an admission committee, they are trying to see if you are going to be a good student, a good um, leader, sometimes a good uh, participant or a good colleague in the department. So they might not really give you a lot of, um, you know, what is or define so so questions. You understand what I'm saying? So it's going to be mostly um, uh, a conversation between two colleagues. So you need to learn how to have a conversation with um, senior colleagues in your in your field. So bottom line is you don't need to feel, you know, stressed or scared or anything. Um, please be free, feel free to have a conversation 
um, I understand that, especially for international students, um, because of the relationships we have with uh, lecturers in our home countries, it might be a little bit different from um, what we have here. Here, most lecturers or most professors are very, very approachable. So you, there are people that you can have conversations with, and that is what will be expected of you having a conversation and talking about yourself and your experiences with the professor. And the professor will also tell you about what's going on in his lab or what's going on in the school and how you should be excited if um, you are eventually chosen. So it's going to be a conversation and not like your traditional interview. Now, another point I should make is, of course, this should be expected. You are going to grad school and obviously you're going to be expected to talk about research. Now, this might be your personal research experience, your past research experience. And also, sometimes you would have to talk about your future research goals. Now, when it comes to future research goals or, or current research interests, that has to align with um, what the professor is thinking or what the overarching um, aim of the professor's research is, okay? So you should be prepared to, or you should have some knowledge of what the professor does. Um, if you go to the departmental webpage, you'll see that. And also get familiar with some of the recent publications of the professor you know so that just so you can be aware of what they do how difficult it is and um, how or what you can bring to the lab because that's one of the questions that you can get so what you can bring to the lab so if you don't understand what they do in the lab you might not be able to you know talk about those things so expect to talk about research a lot about research and lastly expect to be given the opportunity to ask questions, okay? There will be um, an opportunity for you to lay down your concerns or whatever questions you have, and you should absolutely ask questions. It will feel so dumb and lame if the opportunity comes and you just say, oh, no, I'm, I'm good. It's just not impossible because it's somewhere you probably have not visited. Um, so you should have um, very good questions, a lot of questions. Questions, you know, questions related to collaborations, you know, the mentoring philosophy of uh, that professor, how approachable he is um, in terms of uh, meetings, uh, what he expects when it comes to manuscripts, um, a lot of questions. I will we'll go deeply into that in another video, like I said. So bottom line is expect to ask questions and prepare. Um, write down questions that you're going to ask the professor. So if you are here, I want to encourage you to look out for my subsequent videos on grad school interviews where I will break down what you should uh, do when you are asked to introduce yourself, what you should do when you are asked to talk about your research experiences or your future research goals, and also a number of questions that you can potentially ask the professor when you are given the opportunity to you know ask questions so if you like this video please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you can get my latest videos on how to navigate the uh, grad school ad application process and also after this series of videos on admission i'm going to start talking about how to get ahead when you are actually in grad school so i have a lot of juicy stuff for you guys so subscribe so that's all I have for you. I'm Dr. Ojo and I'll see you in the next video.